here in Bethnal Green, East of London. Tonight, Frank Warren Sports Network, www.frankwarren.tv, and Lonsdale London proudly presents 10 three-minute rounds of boxing for the lightweight championship of England. Welcome to viewers watching this broadcast live and exclusively on Sky Sports. The officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control. Stood in charge is Mr. Charles Giles. And so, on to the boxers themselves. Introducing to you, firstly, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the solid black shorts, trimmed with grey and red. At the weigh-in yesterday, he scaled nine stones and nine pounds. He has a record consisting of 25 contests, 17 wins. Six of those wins coming by way of knockouts, seven defeats and one draw. Coming to the ring as a former British title challenger, and he is the challenger for the English title this evening, presenting from Birmingham, Anthony Maynard. And opposing him, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the blue colored shorts, trimmed with silver. At the weigh-in yesterday, he scaled 9 stones, 8 pounds, and 14 ounces. He has an excellent record, 15 contests, 14 wins. Two of those wins coming by way of knockout with only the one defeat. Tonight, he's making the proud first defense of his championship, presenting the lightweight champion of England from Southend, Danny, the Essex boy, Hum. Timekeeper at the bell, Mr. Richard Clark from Sitting Bond, and the referee in charge of the action, star referee, Mr. Ian John Lewis from Gillingham in Kent. Ten rounds of championship boxing. And big support here for Danny Hunt, who's made the short journey from South End on the Essex coast. It's about your body adjustment, about our command at all times. You battle on the balls, was the hits, kick the punches up. Now sharp fight, you fight clean. And remember, defend yourself at all times. Check this. Well, this is a big test for Danny Hunt. He's had ten wins in a row, only one defeat on his ledger. He's got this stepping stone English lightweight championship, but the guy he's in with here, Anthony Maynard, might have lost a few lately, but he's mixed in a much, much better class. And he means some business. He comes out straight away and throws a right hand. And you heard what he said there before the fight. He thinks he's got nowhere to go if he loses this Maynard. And he would think about hanging up his gloves. There's that much on the line for him. Hunt, a neat boxer. So far, the evidence seems to be that he lacks something of a dig, but apparently looking exceptional in the gym in the build-up to this fight, which is a big one for him, Glenn. It is a big one, and it's a very good matchup with the age and experience in the, of Maynard and the, the youth of, of Hunt. Yep, Danny Hunt's 10 years younger. At 22, he turned pro very early in the blue trunks around the Hunt. Nicknamed the Essex boy, should have youth speed, extra ambition on his side, you'd think here. But Anthony Maynard has a win over Michael Ayers, one of our top lightweights on his record. It was six years ago. He's also mixed with Alfred Cote and Bobby Vanzi, though he did lose in a round to Vanzi for the British title. Well, Ian, you want to see Hunt here get into a rhythm. He's the, the better boxer, the more fluid style of the two. And really, he's going to start nice and fast and keep that rhythm going. Hunt made pretty heavy weather of it in winning this championship up against the modest Chill John. It was quite close. Some people even thought John had won it, but Hunt finished quite strongly. <laughs> Frank Maloney calls him the David Beckham of boxing. He's getting a bit carried away, isn't he, Frank, again? <laughs> it's just a little bit carried away. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> How much does Maynard have left? Well, he's had to chisel his body down to make the, the lightweight championship limit of nine stone, nine pounds. That will have certainly helped his preparation. No coming in overweight tonight. But how hard has it been for him to make that weight for me? That might be a factor. 
trying to box on the move, use his skills. Danny Hunt, some suggesting he might just sit down on his punches a little more, and that might improve his stoppage record. But he's pretty battle-hardened, isn't he, Maynard? And people who've mixed with him in the gyms in Birmingham say he can hit a bit harder than his record might suggest. Yes, I think he can. He's been in some good field, but really, it's mentally, how is he at this stage in his career? Has he still got some ambition left? Can be a bit cut prone as well. Danny Hunt, that's another problem. He's fully aware of that. Well, tonight, Frank Warren, the promoter, saying he could have sold out this arena three times over for this fight. Apparently, it's been much bigger at the box office than the recent Ooh. Danny Williams Michael Sprott fight was at Wembley Conference Centre. Well, I think if you want to see really what Skelton has, is he the real deal? That's the, the question here. Answers coming up later. This is by way of the order for the English lightweight championship, the English titles formed over the last few months, just as a stepping stone, really, for young boxers on the way through, giving them a chance to box something like the championship distance. This is 10 rounds, incidentally. Hunt in the blue trunks, 14 and 1 so far. Maynard's record, 17 wins, 7 defeats, and a draw. John Honey was supposed to be the opponent, as I understood it, for Danny Hunt tonight, but Honey's injured at the moment, switch hitting for a moment there, Hunt. I mean, look, not really getting off, he hasn't found his, his timing yet, missing an awful lot, and just following Hunt, he needs to start getting in there and getting some of these shots on target. Maynard's 32 now, not as quick as he was. Only won one of his last five, but it was against the useful Chris Barnett. That's not a bad bit of form. And he gets him with a couple of body punches there. He'll look to bustle up Hunt, lean on, wear him down when he can. He's looking a bit reddened around the left eye already, Hunt. Yes, he is. He hasn't really been hit with anything substantial. This court, and that could be a, a problem in the future. Secret, surely, for Danny Hunt to use his boxing skills and speed and plenty of lateral movement to frustrate Maynard. You'd think so anyway, although his two stoppages on his record have come in the last six months over Mark Bowen and David Kehoe. Rather surprisingly, he beat Bowen in a round. Well, Hunt's just got to use that jab, he's got to get into this fight, build up the points behind that jab, falling a bit short with it on that occasion. That's body shots from Hunt on that occasion. Sharp with the left to him. Maynard able to really get off with the punches as he does back up Hunt against the ropes. Hunt doing the more authoritative work. This Hunt looking pretty relaxed in close, not panicking. Getting uh, the shots off that he needs to. Bit on the low side, that one from Maynard. <laughs> nice solid jab. He is trying to throw a few big ones, Hunt, which I wouldn't really say his is his game. Yeah. Well, he sent a telegram, didn't he, to say that one was coming. Really looking to load up. That's a bit better from Maynard that time. Hunt shakes his head as if to say, no, no problem. The trainer is Alan Smith, Frank Maloney in the corner as well with Cutman and Williams. Don't seem that happy with him, do they? No, but you know, he hasn't really done anything wrong. He's getting the, the better shots off. He's the more accurate, some decent body shots there for him. I think it's fair to say without being unkind, Danny Hunt yet to convince everybody that he really is a star on the rise. If he was to win convincingly tonight, he might win over a few more of the doubters, I think. Well, he's got ability. Maybe he just needs a big win to, to get the confidence in himself. Let's be honest about it, Glenn. If he's going anywhere, he has to be beating Maynard at this stage of Maynard's career, doesn't he? Well, that's exactly right. I'm sure he's aware of that. Oh, 
Maynard is still tricky, there's still plenty there with him. Comes out with a good result now and again. Yeah, but it's more again than now, <laughs> these days. Well, it's a good sort of fight for, for Hunt at this stage. He's still just 22, it's very early days for him. Didn't have much of an amateur career. He wasn't a big amateur star or anything like that, Danny Hunt, because he turned pro early. So he's still learning as he goes along a bit here. Maynard bosses him up against the ropes. Not really getting up with anything that significant. And Hunt, let's be fair to him, fought his way out of that corner well. Because Maynard not really getting through with his attacks. Hunt just tucking off, getting the arms up, and he's got enough of himself to relax inside. The shots off, this is a distance battle. But Hunt doesn't really want to be standing in front of him like that. He tries to be a showboat, but Maynard, I think, here is rather warming to the task. Yeah, for the first time, Maynard started to get through with a, a few decent headshots. Of course, the, the smile from Hunt, but that normally comes when you've registered with a punch. I just might be feeling that man strength of Anthony Maynard in there as well. Hunt. This, I would suggest, is probably tougher than anything he's had so far. Good body shot from him. Doesn't want to get trapped on those ropes if he can help it. Hunt. I would have thought he was better off on the outside. Yes, he's got to get back to that jab a little bit as well. Use what he's got, and that's the boxing skills. He's a good left hook landed from Maynard. He certainly stepped it up a gear and rather got the better of things, I think, in this round, applying most of the pressure. This could get uncomfortable for Danny Hunt. It's no formality, this fight for him, you know. Well, good to see Maynard warming to the task now. Could get interesting, this. Live basketball from the NBA as Minnesota take on Memphis. That's coming up on Sunday night from 8.30 on Sky Sports Extra. Championship boxing tonight at the York Hall, Bethnal Green. And Danny Hunt is finding out what championship life can be like. Glenn and Ian. Yeah, this is the fourth round of it. Blue trunks, Danny Hunt. And uh, let's get it right, this isn't one of the big championships, it's for the English lightweight championship. The British champion is Graham Earl. And Hunt is quite anxious to engineer a fight with him sooner rather than later, though Earl has a rematch tough one too with Bobby Vansey coming up soonish. Well, first of all, Hunt's got to prove himself here, hasn't he? And this one's getting a fair bit tougher for Hunt. Yeah. One thing being shouted out of the ring from the body language here is that Maynard wants this pretty badly. Yeah, also, it comes across he's the, the physically more mature and stronger of the two, and that might, that might tell later on. It's a good test this, though, for Hunt. Can he prevail? Well, it's a fight like this that could be the making of Danny Hunt. Or the breaking. Exactly. It's it's that, that important to fight, I think. It's a real, real breakthrough fight for Hunt. That's what makes the business interesting. Out of range with the jab, Maynard. Once again, he just hangs around on the ropes and allows Maynard to bustle him up over there. Not all of them landing, but the impression with referee and John Lewis will it be of Maynard putting on pressure. I think they're a bit worried about that in the Hunt corner. <laughs> Left hook Maynard that time, didn't quite land flush. Well, Hunt's having to stand and fight and that's not really suiting him. Yeah, he's being dragged into the wrong kind of fight, isn't he, here? Yes. Is that his inexperience? Well, I don't know if he's got the physical strength to keep going with a jab. Right hand. And a 
knockdown is counted. Maynard complains about that. He feels he might have slipped, I think. And he's letting Ian John Lewis know about that, but it does count officially as a knockdown. A little contentious. Well, he was off balance there. He just lost his, his footing. That's how it looked to me. We'll check for you. We'll take another look of it, be sure of that. Last 20 seconds of the fourth round. Now, will that lift Danny Hunt? Might be just what he needed, even if it does prove to be a shade fortuitous. May not certainly not hurt or anything like that, that's for certain. So, let's have a look at this. Was this an authentic knockdown? The referee said yes. No, he, he, he did go down, there was a punch landed, but he threw a punch as he sort of wrong-footed himself. There was nothing in it. He just left to make a shot, and it, it hits him on the, on the chest of the arm. Yeah, not a legitimate knockdown in my book. Well, if it landed anywhere, it landed around the waistband of the shorts on the side, didn't it? <laughs> Look at him complain about it. But has he scored that, a 10-8 round to Danny Hunt? Well, referee was the one that gave the count. He administered it, so you would think that he would do that. Well, that's the talking point. How vital might it prove to be if this goes to the cards? Oh, well, there's only one, isn't there? That's <laughs> Ian John Lewis's. Yeah, he's got the card. Yeah. That's what we're short of in this business, isn't it? A few controversies. <laughs> yeah, that'll be right. <laughs> Danny Hunt's only defeat, by the way, was on cuts in the second round against Leroy Williams, and you can ignore that, really. It's not an authentic defeat. Oh, Main outs lost to people like Stephen Smith, the clever South, or Alfred Cote, the top-class Ghanaian. Bobby Banzi, David Burke, another of our top lightweights. It's usually taken pretty good men to beat him, isn't it? Yes, it has. You know, he got that good win over Michael Layers. You know, proven that he can you know, handle himself at a decent level. So that was then, 98. This is now. Maynard uses boxing to supplement his income from his job as an electrician. They're not all earning a million quid, you know, or anything like it. Still really unable to impose himself in the way he would want, I think, Hunt here. Maynard's just not letting him. That's nice, though, from Hunt. Needs more of that sort of thing. That's exactly right, Ian. I think that's, that's what he has to do. He has to keep that up. It's no good just... You're getting on the back foot, sticking on the jab. He's got to start putting combinations together, really impose himself in there. Well, here's something about Danny Hunt. 11 of his 15 fights so far have been against guys who'd lost more than they'd won. Well, that's a telling fact, yeah. It shows they've looked after him on the way up. Oh, it's a nice right hand from him. On the back foot, too. That was a flashy punch from Hunt. Maynard will look to keep on with the pressure. Maybe look to, well, he's not that old, but old man Danny Hunt out of this a little bit. But he's looked fit and in condition and ready tonight, Maynard. Trained by the Lynch brothers and Don Argerson up there in Birmingham. He used to be with the former world featherweight title contender, Pat Dowdow. One of the smartest craftsmen we've produced in the modern era is Pat. With a decent body shot landing from Maynard. But it's Hunt who's done more of the classier work. It's competitive, all right, and it's got this York Hall crowd going, this one. They know both of them want it. Hunt maybe in the driving seat just at the moment. So then the big event tonight is 
Can Matt Skelton, unbeaten so far, cut it against the battle-hardened Julius Francis? Another English heavyweight title fight, and uh, Matt Skelton is with Ed Robinson backstage. Well, Matt, do you see this as your toughest test yet? Um, I see all of them as a tough test. You know, each fight is tough. I just take each fight as it comes. Will you be looking for a fast start? You're known for them. I'll be looking just to fight my fight, my pace, whether he thinks it's fast or not, whether the crowd thinks it's fast, I don't know, but I'll be fighting at my pace. There's no danger of you underestimating Francis at all. He's very experienced. Not at all. I don't, like I said before, you know, I haven't underestimated none of my opponents up to date. Um, from the first fight to the, la the last fight, which I had, I haven't underestimated none of them. Like I said, as far as I'm concerned, if their attitude's the same as mine, they've come to fight, and that's what I look at. Do you think you can stop him? Um, there's a, there's, a, there's a possibility. I'm looking just to win, whether it be the distance, whether it be a stoppage. You know, if the opportunity comes, of course, I'll you know, take the just to chance. Yeah. Matt Skelton could make it as a football manager, couldn't he? Taking every fight as it comes. Back to this one. Tight one, two, and a hard fight this for Danny Hunt. We thought it would be. It was interesting, the trade paper Boxing News predicted Maynard to win this in their preview. I noticed yesterday. Well, I think that's the sort of match it is. You're certainly not a one-side one. You know, he comes with good credentials. You know, they know he's a he's a good fighter, a good, solid performer. And it was always going to be hard for Hunt, but Hunt's still doing that that bit more. He's not able to really sustain the pressure in terms of clean blows when he does get in close, Maynard, sometimes. You know, it's not really getting into a rhythm, Ian. He's not you know, getting through with consistent shots. That's good from him, that combination punching to the body. And now he gets off the reps. This is better from him. Gonna have the corner have had a word. Ball with the right hand and driven back that time, though. Hunt. Now it's Maynard's turn to hit him with four hooks to the body. Good round. Good coming back from Hunt and then Maynard again. Real good give and take stuff in this round. Each one trying to establish their superiority in the round. Just a little mark under the right eye for Danny Hunt, who's had cuts problems before. It's nothing at the moment. Maynard landed with some good punches in that exchange. You want to see him build on that goal. Take that, the fight to Hunt with some, a lot more pressure. Stop boxing, stop boxing. Just to hold his strategy together, Gabby Hunt. Keep his mind cool and composed in the line of fire. Absolutely vital for a young fighter with his kind of style and skills. Good right hand. Picked that one well, didn't he, Glenn? He did. That was a really nice shot. Just showing he's got the, the extra speed. But he might need a bit more than that to win Come this on. round. It's been pretty quiet for Hunt. Come on, Let's go. Clean jump the back shots on him, jump back from on him for me, though, in this session. Slack snap, even though he continues to come forward. Let's check on the two fighters in the corners there. No real problem with that cut. It's just a little mark under the right eye there for Hunt. Hunt is landed. Hunt more by 10, says our computer printout. Hunt, Alexis is standing in the corner. I didn't think it did him any favours. He got out of there, but good call shot as well. Here's round seven. Danny Hunt in blue, remember, from South End. Not too many pro fighters of uh, much distinction out of that town in recent times, anyway. Not that I can recall. Please write in if you know better, as Esther Ransom used to say. Still showing the, the extra little bit of speed. Hunt, but he's got to use that and then get out of range. 
stood around a little bit too much, I think, this evening. Yeah. Raiding tactics would be right, wouldn't they? I, I think it would be. Give them a little bit more lateral movements, you some angles in and out, and use that speed. Just try to befuddle Maynard a bit. Not let him work on the inside, lean on. Step to the side, maybe, and get off a three-punch combination and then away again. Ideally, anyway. Easy for us to sit here talking about it, maybe a bit harder for him to do. Well, he looks as if he's trying to prove something, maybe to himself, and that, that he's got the strength to stand in there in close range and push his opponent about, and that's not really his style. It's about getting the win tonight for Danny Hunt. I've got him ahead in the fight, usefully, I must say, on my card. Well, I've got him a couple of rounds ahead. I didn't give it a 10 year round, I think he did, Ian. Well, I, I, I think the referee probably did. So I'll just try to stay accurate. I'd agree with you. If I was scoring in the south, I'd go 10-9. Because I don't think it was an authentic knockdown. That's what he needs to do. And well, that is what he can do. That's what he does best. Right off the back foot, and Maynard tries to wade away to the body. For the most part, Hunt keeping the hands up nice and tight. Good defensive work. That right hand landed again. Right hand, and the temple from Maynard. I suppose there'll be people sitting at home watching this and they're saying, well, if they're calling Danny Hunt, the David Beckham of boxing and trying to give him the big build-up in those kind of terms. If he's having this hard a fight with Maynard, he's not destined for greatness or anything like it. No, well, you've got to remember it's Frank Maloney, his manager, that's calling him the David Beckham of boxing. That's what, what his job's to do. Well, let's get some uh, comments at ringside now from... Uh, Newspaper man Kevin Garside, who's with Adam Smith. Yes, a good little clash, this uh, match of styles. Do you see uh, Danny Hunt just forging ahead? I think so, yeah. I think the, the, um, the knockdown, whether it was legitimate or not, probably changed things a little bit. It looked to have slipped from where we were sitting, but I think that's given a bit of confidence. He had to try and find some way of applying pressure with someone who obviously lacks power like Danny does, as his record suggests. He had to get busier, throw more punches, and give Maynard something to worry about, and I think he has done that. Maynard's battle-hardened, but he hasn't quite got into his rhythm. He needs a big finish, doesn't he? Well, I think the, the quality work, if, if, if the, punch, the quality of the punches thrown, the ones that are landing, are all Hunt's, and I think he's got to find a way now of winning this fight, Maynard, and it looks like he's got to have to finish it early to win it. And Hunt, impressed? He's getting better. I think he's growing in confidence, and once he's stopped worrying about getting his getting cuts, which I think was holding him back early on, he seems to have settled into a nice rhythm. Thanks very much, Kevin. Ian. Kevin Garside, subject of a recent big money transfer to the Daily Telegraph, they tell me. At least £27 million. Pounds. <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> Well, it's a decent enough argument, isn't it, for the fans as well? Yes, it is. It's interesting. And we are landing with a good overcut twice now yeah, as Hunt decides just to stay in. And this is where it could be interesting because Hunt hasn't done, you know, he's done 10 rounds once, hasn't done much distance before that. So this is where Hunt could start feeling the pace and tire. And Maynard might just start to take over in these later rounds. He's back on his bike again now, Hunt. It's a little breather by the, by the ropes. I was going to say, I, I hope he doesn't let the macho thing take over. It's a good right hand there. He certainly let the macho thing take over for a moment there. And it worked for him too. That was a good shot from Hunt and it hurt Maynard who looked dazed a bit from that one. Well, that was really good. That's what he has to, to tull out some nice, clean shots like that. Found me in a wide open. Punch of the fight so far from Danny Hunt. Watch him out, him, Rick. Dave, jump on him, jump on him. Could be where his youth and extra freshness and ambition kicks in a bit as well, though. 
for Danny Hunt. Yep, that's uh, the flip side. He's breathing a bit heavy now, Maynard, who's given it a lot tonight. In what he felt beforehand could be his last fight if he lost it. Good start to the round by Maynard, but Hunt's come back well at him and shown some real gameness and the instincts of a fighter in doing that. Yeah, showing a, a bit of character, isn't he? That he's ma maturing into a better fighter. And let's be fair about another thing, too. Tonight he's looked strong enough, too, hasn't he? Yes, he has, and he's got the, the attitude to stand and, and have a go. He's also been relaxed enough to chuck up inside when his opponent starts to let shots go. And that's a sign of maturity. It's been a fast-paced, intense battle. Will something give late on here? Quite a grueling one as well. And these kind of fights in the experience could serve Danny Hunt well if he does move on to bigger things. I will say one other thing, though. I think Danny Hunt's going to need more than he's showing us here tonight if he's going to become a British champion. Yes, he is, but I think this is a, an important fight for him because I think this is his real step up in, in quality. So I think coming through this fight with a good win would give him an awful amount of confidence. You know, he's shown good quality there. There's a nice combination went in in that round. Looked to be tiring early on, but then brought that right-hand punch out. That was the, the best punch of the contest so far. Interesting to know how the referee, Ian John Lewis, is scoring this. Uh, there's an impression of Hunt landing the cleaner, snappier punches as this goes off. But a lot of the pressure has come from Maynard. So, you know, which way do you read some of these rounds? Well, I just think Maynard's pressure has not been consistent and it hasn't been that well scoring. I can tell you that opinions are varied about how this might be going at ringside. Some people have got it a lot closer than others. I've got Hunt in a pretty handy lead. That's only my personal reading of it. He's always got that, that little extra shot at the end, Hunt, in the combination. And four points, I've got him clear. So getting into a handy lead with a good right hand. Just seemed to travel down to the sole of the boots of Maynard, that one, didn't it? done that now a couple of times. Showing good desire for Danny Hunt here. He is in love with this business. His, uh, his, his car has done 43,000 miles in the last two years, travelling from South End into London for training and back. I hope he doesn't do that in the rush hour. Good left hook at the end of the rally, that time, from Hunt. And what's good here is after he throws that combination, he tucks up well. Yeah. Well, he stays in range, he doesn't have to, you know, less experience will try and get out of range, and maybe he's getting tight. He stays in range, just covers up, and that, that's confidence. And he is a work in progress, still, I think. Hunt, at 22, coming off a slim amateur career. He'll need the fights, and he'll need the education. This is where you'd expect Maynard to use his strength and try and work there, try and bull Hunt, but he's unable to do that. And he's been able to stand with him, Hunt. He's not gone on the run the last couple of rounds. And that's a right hand, he seemed to walk onto that a bit, Maynard. A rattling good effort this though, isn't it? From the Birmingham fighter at what well, many people thought was the tail end of his career. He's coming here tonight and uh, he doesn't care two hoots about how they're trying to build up Danny Hunt. He's got his own agenda. Well, he's tried hard. He knows that the defeat probably leaves him with nowhere to go. He couldn't 
he doesn't need that, he doesn't want that. So he's got to try and get something out of this. And I think whatever happens here, Maynard's still got enough left to throw away those ideas of uh, hanging up the gloves. Good round between the two of them there. He gave it everything. And he really uh, dug something out there. Punches landed so far. Hunt 83, Maynard uh, 73. The difference remains 10 on the computer. And a good right hand there. Just making him wobble a little bit, Maynard. Was another impressive punch, and you might find that Hunt gets more power in his punches because he's looking to stand a little bit more than he did in his early fights. Now he's planting the feet, so with that, hopefully, a bit more confidence, he'll start. You're getting a, a better punch through. There's your scorecard. You think that Maynard needs a knockout to win? I do. I've, I've pretty much won for Hunt most of these rounds. Yeah, I've got it to Hunt by four going into the last round. He's in the blue trucks here with bags of support. It is absolutely packed in here tonight. There are people standing in the aisles and at the back of the hall. Rattling good atmosphere. It really is. And the main event still to come, remember. Last round of this for the English Lightweight Championship, currently held by Danny Hunt. with the left hand, Maynard. I'm sure both the corners have said to their men, just make sure of everything in the last round here, particularly Maynard, who's really planting his feet as he lands these blows. But he's shown his physical strength here, Danny Hunt tonight, I reckon. Yes, he has, I think that's been a, you know, a little bit of a shock. I didn't expect him to be that strong and maybe move a lot more than he has, but he showed his maturity and his building strength. Again, Maynard tries to pull him against the ropes and let fly with the hooks. And Maynard knows he needs a last-ditch effort to get something from this fight. I bet you both of them will try to claim the victory. It's been a really good contest, this. Maynard getting through the better shots in this session. Much appreciated by the knowledgeable Yorkville crowd. Right hand from Maynard. And a left hook too. Both fighters absolutely determined not to surrender any initiative in the last session here. Getting a bit wild, Hunt missing with punches. Well, he's done the 10 rounds before Danny Hunt with Chio John last time. And he's prepared very well, as has Maynard, because there's not been that much dropping off of the pace here. Just loading up too much in this round, Hunt. Not getting his punches off well. No, just a bit wild with them. Gets it with the right hand that time, though. Back comes Maynard again. Last half a minute. Maynard's got the, the better of this round. Must he get careless, Danny Hunt? He's fighting like he thinks he might be behind, isn't he? More than anything. Well, a fighter in there never really knows. No. And this is an important fight for him. Do any of us know anymore? <laughs> That's true. Yeah. And we've been surprised often enough. And recently, too. There is the final foul. And it does go to Danny Hunt, who retains his English lightweight championship to the raucous applause uh, by Pat York Hall tonight with a terrific performance, too, from Anthony Maynard. Well, there's a few boos for the, the result, but I didn't think there was any doubt in it. I thought he'd come out a decent winner, Danny Hunt, by four points on my score. I had it by three points to Hunt in the end. He threw 
Well, a hundred more punches may now, but landed a whole lot less in terms of uh, percentage of punches finding the target. I think Danny Hunt did okay there tonight, you know, without looking a golden boy or anything like that. He showed himself that he's got something anyway. Yeah, I think he just moved up to the next level. He just did a step up, and I think it was good. It was good for him to do that. Here we go with this with the announcement of the scores. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of exciting championship boxing, referee Ian John Lewis has scored the contest for Maynard. 94 points for Hunt, 97 points your winner, and he is still the lightweight champion of England from South End, the Essex boy, Danny Hunt. And by a three-point margin on the rest guard, which is roughly how Glenn and I have it. British boxing boy, Anthony Maynard. British boxing boy, Charles Sudan, Charles. He handled it all quite well tonight, didn't he? Johnny Nelson, how did you see that performance by Hunt? Hunt, you know, he showed true grit and brute force. He, he pushed, the, he pushed the May Maynard forward. Physically, he's so, so strong. He's not got that knockout punch, but he's so, so strong. I've got to give him a good learning fight for him. He did very, very well. Derek Williams, has he gone up a level? And after all, this is what we're here to find out tonight. Well, Paul, tell you the truth, I've spoken about Hunt before, and I was definitely impressed tonight. He put on an amazing performance tonight, and people can look out for a guy who can be going to become a major champion.